Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic, and I'm here with another plan with me. I'm showing you my spread from last week, which is a beautiful kit from Simply Beautiful Plans, and I was so excited that I finally get, got to put some hollow in my planner. But moving on to this week, I'm planning for the week of March 15th through March 21st. This week has St. Patrick's Day and the first day of spring. I am using a beautiful kit from Two Little Bees. I love this kit because even though it's St. Patrick's Day themed, it's not over the top. And I just love all of the pastel and the colors that were brought in along with the floral. I show you the pages of the kit, but if you want to see it slower or more in depth, I did a haul that included this kit and I would check that out if you're interested. I am using the sticker kit planner. Uh, planner. It's the planner with the white coil. And then I get started pretty quickly with the frame of my spread. For me, my uh, frame includes the bottom washi, the date covers at the top, along with the date dots, and the sidebar. And for now, um, since I'm using this planner as a memory planner and not as my Reflection Planner, which a lot of my older videos talk about. I also put in the full boxes ahead of time. I don't know if I will continue to do that when I finally catch up. Um, my goal is to uh, record and plan all of the weeks from the beginning of the year to the present. I'm working really hard to catch up because I want a planner that has all of the weeks filled out from beginning to end. Um, I really feel like by mid-May, so pretty soon, I will have everything filmed and it's just up to me to get everything um, edited and voiceovers done so that I can upload them and then be caught up in, in moving at... <laughs> A more reasonable pace and by more reasonable pace I don't even mean that at all I just simply mean having the posts each week kind of match up with a very recent week I'm moving to my sidebar um the new format that two little bees includes only has one of those bow dividers at the top um they used to have two and I kind of miss having two but I really really love that um and I chose to put it in my sidebar. I put in a um, Monday through Sunday tracker as well as a habit tracker hoping to track um, my postnatals that I'm taking and I put in a little deco that I thought was really pretty um, and I want to get better at including non-floral deco in my spreads because I, I think it would be a very important skill to learn, but it would allow me to include deco even when it's a kit without a lot of florals. I do believe that this week I did a very good job, better than in the past, with my floral deco and really including it in the spread in a way that's not overwhelming to me. One of the things that I did is the kit came with a thicker um, bottom washi meant for like a B6 size kind of planner and what I did because this kit only had one set of headers that didn't have the to do or today words on them I cut up that strip in half and then cut it across um, which you can see here the columns to um, create my own headers because I tend to need two sets and this kit only comes with one. So as you can see, I just cut the strip in half and then you can see me um, cut them down to size here. It was the perfect use for that strip because otherwise I wouldn't use it. But I really love when I can use every part of a kit um, in my spread and not waste any stickers. So after I get done with the frame, I do move to Monday where I put a large coffee cup and a 
Coffee Monday sticker. That Coffee Monday lettering sticker, script sticker, whatever, it's from Love Shira, and her shop is no longer open, and so I just kind of cut down the um, coffee cup that came on that sticker so that the colors would match a little bit better. I then put down a uh, icon from Crafts by Cowie along with a nurse uh, script from Alyssa, uh, Alyssa's Craft Shop. I then put down a quarter box and some floral, floral deco that I cut down just to write that I needed to bake fix one of my bank accounts for the business because it was kind of wonky so I went to the bank to handle that I put down a full box from the kit and I think that deco it wasn't deco it was just part of the full box full box um, and then I put in some clear starry deco from simply watercolor co to kind of decorate that full box a little bit um, and I just noted that I had a visit in Dallas and I came back and added in Waco. I put down a heart checklist and put down a few things that I got done. I did find a small um, gold foiled television sticker from my stash that I was able to include on Monday. Moving to Tuesday, I already had that full box there. I put down a today header. Um, I put it down and then had to pull it up and I think I did that off camera and put down the deco and put the header over it so it overlapped. I put down that heart bubble sticker from the kit just to note that I had a three hour um, family group conference which is a meeting. It was pretty exhausting to go for, for three hours and if we have a meeting like that and it's three hours usually there's a lot of drama involved. I did put in that little squiggly line from Bloom Paper Studio because I just wanted to take up some of that white space that was right beside the deco. I put down the sticker from the mom and baby sticker from Paper Shire, not Paper Shire, yes Paper Shire, and then I um, just kind of noted that I loved on and cuddled with the baby. I didn't end up liking that at all so I pulled it up and whited it out and this planner is so amazing you cannot even see the white out. Or, I mean, you can maybe see it a little bit, but it's so beautiful and not very distracting at all. I put down some more of the clear deco and then put the paper shower sticker back down. And instead of writing on the whiteout, I put Time for Snuggles, and that sticker is from Randy.Plans. The bow sticker at the top, I did that a lot in my last spread, and I just fell in love with those bows as small accents and I put that down it's from Bloom Paper Studio and then I put down a full box and just kind of um, like to kind of a word vomit on that half box did I say full box I meant half box I did like a word vomit on the half box to put down a lot of the things I did for work that day that emoji sticker it's from the Coffee Monsters Co and it's just like an umbrella showing everything falling down and just trying to show that it was like raining chaos in my life on that Tuesday. One of the things that I didn't note in the planner this week that I wish I had was that this week is technically settlement week, which um, we call settlement week. Um, it, it's a week where we don't have any court. And it's meant for us to settle case matters um, without needing court intervention. But really, settlement week is always during the week of spring break. And so the idea of that, I'm assuming, is that parents are home with kids or kids are at home. And it allows parents to be home with them. Um, because we're all still working from home due to the pandemic, um, I mean, I guess we would have been home anyway, but we still get a settlement week and so I didn't have any court um, but case emergencies of course come up when I least expect them to. Um, I was talking over Wednesday at the top but I really like how I did the layering on that. Well first I did a quarter box and I put like a smaller box in between but really I put down a flag sticker, some floral deco, and a computer sticker from Samantha May Sticks along with the script and then a um, line kind of header to separate some space 
and I think that was probably my favorite part of the kit because I was starting to do a lot of the things I've seen other planners do that I've been really inspired by and starting to kind of up, up my layering game a bit. So um, Wednesday was pretty pretty big day because we had um, our house cleaned. We needed a deep cleaning, kind of like spring cleaning, and I didn't want to do it or didn't have the time, however you want to look at it. But then we also took um, Jacob and a friend to Dinosaur Quest. Dinosaur Quest is something that we usually do every year, and we go to like the convention center, and there's there's big, huge dinosaurs mimicking you know real life dinosaurs and we get to see them and ride them but because of the pandemic uh, we did like a drive through dinosaur quest which was still pretty fun and um, they had like the talk through on the radio and the boys really liked it for Thursday I used some floral and a skipped a skip a script to note that I nursed the baby I put down the um, Panda from Stick With Me Shop to note that um, I had the carpet cleaned in the office especially but in a few areas of the house so a company came out to do that. I needed a coffee break. I put another one of those bows from Bloom Paper Studio because I love those bows. But that clipboard sticker is from Simply Watercolor Co. Unfortunately I write too big so I feel like the writing in that was kind of like tiny. Um, not tiny, but like messy looking. Um, I just noted that um, with the Mama and Kid sticker from Paper Shire that I got to hang with Jacob while my husband and the baby slept. I then uh, put down a full box and layered that Aaron's arrow from the kit and some floral just to note some errands that we ran. Went to the container store. We needed to go Macy's, we got some pizza, and um, I got sushi, I think. Um, and then at the very bottom, I, balance, I put some deco down and layered a um, box sticker from Crafts by Cowie. It was supposed to be like organized, just to note that I had to put the uh, office back together because we had moved everything out of the office for the carpet cleaning. So for Friday, I put down a little squiggly line again and some deco, but I also put down a flag and that alarm clock sticker is from Samantha May Sticks, and I was just noting that I went to bed at 5.30 a.m. and was up again at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So this was a point in time where obviously I'm pretty exhausted for the day, and this is pretty typical of my life. When I do spend time with the kids or my family during the day I definitely have to make up this time at night and um, it just it's just the price that I pay to have kind of a, a schedule that I choose and that's more flexible but at the same time I still have to meet the needs of my clients and my law firm and so those are not unusual type nights, but I am hoping to do better and get more sleep soon. Um, at the very bottom, I just noted a few things that I got done that day, and also I had a visit in Houston, and at the very end I just kind of noted that there was a massive blowout by the baby, um, which required uh, lots and lots of cleanup. We were stuck at a convenience store for like an hour trying to clean up the rocket poop. Um, and that, by the way, is the baby's nickname. I should just call, instead of saying the baby on these videos, I should just say rocket poop because that's what we call him. I mean, honestly. Um, for Saturday at the top, I kind of layered some deco over the Hello Spring off camera. And that's an example of like what I really want to do more of. And that's layering and using um, regular deco pieces instead of just floral deco pieces. I know that florals all the rage and lots of people like florals, but I florals aren't my favorite. I love them when they're beautiful and simple like they are in this kit, but they're not as big of a favorite of mine as a lot of other um, girls in this community, a lot of other planners in this community, maybe not girls. 
So, um, I like how I did that, and I really hope I can remember to do more of that as I learn to play with layering and use more foil icons and decorations. So I'm already on Sunday, and on Sunday, um, just noted that our headboard for our bed arrived, and um, I just noted some things that I got done. I needed to cook some pasta. I picked up some boba. That boba sticker is from Fox and Pip, and I just generally had errands to run. At the bottom there on Sunday, I used some floral deco to note that I listened to Plans Change, um, which I'm really enjoying um, participating in when I have the chance. And then I put down a half box just to note that I needed to update and plan for my week. Um, that um, cloud planner is from the kit. I put down a little bit of deco. I kind of wish I had done that part better. I think I could have used a flourish to take up the space a little bit better or place the deco in a way that was more, I don't know, appealing. But I tried and I will continue to, you know, see, experiment. It won't always turn out right, but I'm going to keep trying. Sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. I had quite the weekend. <laughs> So I show leftover stickers, um, and then I do show off, a, uh, turn off the studio light so you can see um, the spread in a more natural light. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.